Hello there ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you're well. My name is Average J and this is my review for Road Racing, which is an endless racer, kinda. You have a limited amount of fuel. You don't really get any more fuel when you're racing unless you somehow manage to lose the police once they start chasing you, which is not easy to do. Something I liked from the start was the fact that when you play you have a choice of three camera angles, which I was surprised to see in this sort of game. And, you know, I, in the beginning I thought, that's, that's really good, I like the idea of that. But um, then you get chased by the police and it just forces you to have a set view. So if that's not what you're used to using, it seems a bit, it pulls you out of it a little bit. It's, it can be very distracting. But there's quite a lot of levels. You can see here, I've right up to level 75, I've got three stars on everything. And then it just... It was just downhill from there, really. It was, uh, it's very repetitive, not just in the fact that, you know, it's the same thing over and over again like you would normally get in a free-to-play mobile game. It's made worse by the fact that the missions repeat over and over again. It's always the same thing. You've got to get so many near misses. You've got to get a combo going so high by continuing to get near misses in a chain. Uh, traveling a certain distance and getting a score a certain amount but that that's it that's that's your lot then there's nothing more to it than that they like to brag about having a lot of cars in the game but what's funny about the cars is the fact that uh, you don't really have a choice at all because there'll be only three cars per tier so as you go through, you unlock more tiers, and then you're going to need more, you know, better vehicles. And the problem is that you'll have to, when you first unlock a new a new tier, it will um, you get to the end somewhere. So you get to sixty, you finish sixty, and then before you start sixty one, now you need a tier five vehicle. So you go to the garage, and there are the th tier vehicle the tier five vehicles whatever it is you need and the first one is available to buy naturally second one oh you need so many stars in that tier first before you can buy it it's like okay that doesn't really make all that much sense so okay so i need a minimum of like six or nine stars or something so i have to buy that first vehicle in order to earn the stars because you can't use your old vehicle you have to have one for that tier so then you do that, and then when you get to a certain point through this, there'll be someone come along with one of these one-star events, and that means that it's like a duel. You've got to beat them in something specific. Usually, who can get the most near misses? Because, you know, you haven't been doing enough of that already. And for that event, your car's not good enough. Not specified as to why, it just isn't. You need a car this good or better. So then it brings up the list again. You go to the garage. And it will say you need it to be this vehicle or better. So you have to buy the next vehicle. Because if you look at the one after that, you need more stars within this tier than you could have possibly earned up to that point. Because you can't go past that. You've got to, you know, do this first. So it essentially means that, yeah, through every one you have to buy the vehicles as you go on. There's not really any choice. Which is frustrating, to be honest, because it just means that... I mean, I've got double coins. I bought double coins. Because that's kind of what I do. It often makes a game less of a grind. But even so, it was still a grind. And I'm not even that great at this game. So when I go in and it, I fail an objective or whatever, I don't pay to come back. I just restart. Because it still pays you whatever you earn up to that point. And that was how I ended up you know, being able to buy all the cars and continue going and everything. One of the biggest, let's just pick an event at random. Okay, I need a tier 5 vehicle for that. So maybe I'll just uh, I'll carry on from where I was up to. Right, we're going here. And the controls are very straightforward. Just your left and right, one side of the screen, and accelerate and brake the other. So, uh, sorry, am I going to write mess myself here? Right, so, <laughs> you've got a nitrous button as well, but here, this is a, this is a daily challenge I'm doing now. Um, daily challenges are extremely boring, and as a grand demonstration for the game, 
it has just stopped. I don't understand what I'm pressing the accelerator. What's wrong with it? Okay, great. So that's as good a way to, as any to end this demonstration. Uh, <laughs> so you get this awesome um, daily challenge, which as you can see is amazing. Uh, can't say I'm particularly, you know, amazed by any one thing in this game, but the daily challenges are terrible because it's it's really but they're really easy to do because you just there'll be police barricades and they'll always be in the middle of the road because they're always made up of at least two police cars, which means they can't be right to one side or the other because they have to have like the police car on the road. So it's just wiggling from left to right a little bit. There's no traffic on the roads, it's just going straight. It's like wow, that's amazing. So it's like a really dull version of what you get within the the, the game generally. But we go with eighty then, and I the, the thing that to me is just unforgivable. This is what takes the game from average to under average by a lot. Is when you're playing, like I said, like the camera angles I thought were quite impressive. So it's because you can you can. Um, change so you've got like your bonnet cam which is pretty awesome um this which is what they always force you to be on when you get chased by the police and my favorite which is this one just standard console style racing thing but as you can see it's very sort of stiff and it doesn't feel very fluid like you're steering it's just jarred from left and right when the police barricade comes up you can either pass through it within uh, above speed and get pursued by them or just break slow down and go through and carry on the worst thing is to see you can see the road will get blocked here and there it's the only time you can survive getting knocked by something is when you're going that slow but it gives you a chance to watch a video for so, uh, so many videos to uh, to carry on or pay with premium currency which i don't have so i can't even show you that but basically the collision detection within this game i mean when you when you think about it, it's when you've got so much riding on the fact that it's near misses, you just, everything's near misses. You want to get a combo going, you need near misses, you need a high score, you need a lot of near misses. You, you need to compete with a bus. Oh, it's near misses. And it's horrendous. You can, you can be doing your, what is, what should, should be a near miss. And it's so blatant that it, it will show like that you've hit them. And you, I can see a gap between me and the car, about a foot wide. It's clear as day, but you're telling me I've hit that. Are you crazy? And that happens so much, it infuriates. It really does. Some cars aren't so bad. I don't know, you, that was a bad angle, but you'd be able to see that I was about an inch away from that. But it would say I hit it. And that's what you get. Really, really bad collision detection. And it breaks the game, in all honesty, it really does. I mean, some some vehicles have like a bonus where it's 30% easier to get near misses, so you don't have to be as close. But you're changing vehicle all the time because of, you know, the way that the, the progression within the game works. But honestly, I wouldn't really recommend the game to anybody because it doesn't... It's okay! You know, at its core, you get used to the idea of, you know, not being able to get too close to anybody. But it's still frustrating that that is the case. It really is. And, you know, it's especially as you get faster and faster. As you can see, it gets pretty damn fast at this point. And then, see, the police start chasing you and it forces your camera angle this way. And then you have to avoid the... I don't even know what you call that. The, they electrocute your car. So you have to avoid that target reticle. At the same time as trying to uh, go between or round the police barricades and avoiding traffic. All while they force you to use a camera angle that you might not be used to. And there's, it, it's a mess. It really is. I, I, can't, I have played it a lot, obviously, because of the point where I've got up to now. Uh, I mean, if you're an achievement fan like myself, then it's great that there is uh, 66 Google Play achievements. Um, I can't say that it saves the game at all. <laughs> Not really. Uh, I, I've got like eighty six percent of them, and that's uh, that's pretty good. That will do, because uh, I'm done with the game. I really am. It's um, I feel as though it's overstayed its welcome. To be quite frank, 
I would give the game 4 out of 10. It's playable. You can play it. But I wouldn't recommend you play it. There's much better out there. So, uh, yeah, 4 out of 10. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. You found it useful. And uh, thank you very much for watching. You guys take care.